Morning, Mag. Come on down. You're up and early this morning. Yep, usually am. Okay. So, need a hand? You want me to carry the pig bucket? Yep. Mike, if you just want to spread that icy food out. Sure. Uh, Mr. Brown? You want, you're going to check the eggs this morning? Yes. You can throw it anywhere but right here because I'm going to move the their house right here. Do you want to let them out first, Mr. Brown, and then I'll move them? Okay, you drop it. <laughs> You guys ready for a move this morning? Nice and cold? Okay, Mike and I are talking about the butchering of these guys. You've butchered pigs before? I've helped. You've actually pulled the trigger? Yep. And what kind of gun did you use? I was trying to decide what kind of gun to use yesterday. I used the 22. Okay, so a lot of people use the 22, but you were telling me you might use a 410 shotgun next time. Yes. The slug? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, but, here's the good news, Mike. Yesterday, I realized, well, I have a semi-automatic 22. Right. So I bought a 410. Okay. So, seems like most people use a 22, so I think I'm gonna try it, but yeah. why do you not like, why are you gonna switch from the 22? Just the stories I've heard of uh, ricochets. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just concerned of that, with the, especially with the larger hog, thicker skull. Um, just okay. getting a ricochet or it going through and bouncing off of something. From the p concerns folks had with the 22 is that maybe there's less room for air. Yes. So if you miss slightly, you haven't killed, you haven't rendered the pig. Right. And, and there's not... great stress there. Yes, great stress. So yeah, 410 is there's a uh, bigger margin for air. You know, you can be off a little bit more with a 410. Now, why are you afraid of ricochet? Have you heard of that happening? I, just stories I've heard. No oh first-hand experience. So. Okay. Why would 22 never ricochet? Well, some will why use would a magnum hurt? instead of a long rifle. Yeah. 22 magnum instead. So, okay. long rifle is the one I've heard of ricocheting. So. Okay. Um, Michael's friend uses a 9mm. Yeah, I've seen pistol. someone use a 357. <laughs> so, I guess you just get it done. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. That's now, right. Now you got me nervous. Now, now, what would it hurt to use a 410 though? No, Why would it hurt so. to have too much power? Well, the the only thing would hurt if you, if you wanted to make head cheese or something like that. That's right. Like you 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 you're basically boiling the head. Yeah. But I, you know, I've only done it a couple times. So, and I've done done it with a 22. Now the 22 bullet's still going to be in there though. Yeah. And if you use a slug, it's only one. But it's. A it's a bigger impact by, by quite a bit. Okay, okay. So, I mean, okay. You think about shooting a watermelon with a 22 versus a 410 slug, and you can see the difference in what's going to happen. Okay, well, let's see the difference today. Let's do the difference. Okay. Okay? Do you have a watermelon? Yeah. I'm all it's out kind of hard to get watermelon. I, I do grow There's watermelon. There's frost there. But... Yeah, you're the watermelon man. You can grow watermelon. That's right. Okay, so we're going to see the difference. Okay, we're going to do that later today, Mike. Okay. Oh, you need steaks, your steak set up. Yeah, just, did we turn this off? It's off, okay. Mike, yes, while sir. Jonah's getting the drone, Mr. Brown and I will check the eggs. Where's your egg basket? I don't know what you're talking about. How are we gonna mark a garden? Okay, well we will, let me get him his eggs so, so he'll go in. Mike, if you wanna go around and get these Tiber Fuff posts out. We're about to move these guys. So that means I'm about to put up a two week time lapse of what they did here. It's not as dramatic as I'd hope with this frost. You can't quite see it as good. But, okay, wait, wait, we're not letting them out. We're not letting them out yet, we're moving them, come on. Let's check the uh, eggs. Here, you got one. Where the egg you got one. It? We didn't bring it. Um, Grab the eggs. I can't Grab it. Well, my hands are warm. It's warm. You're in charge of the eggs. You're going to bring the egg basket, okay? Okay, you want back out? Okay, here. Okay, good. You go inside. Get Josiah's in there. Hey, you went and got the uh, measure and stakes and hammer. Thank you. Mike said he's got some tips for you, Jonah. Yep. For handling pigs, not being afraid. 
What are they, Mike? Well, I usually take something with me, a, a steak, or they make uh, pig boards, which uh -huh. are about two feet by three feet, have handles on it, and uh, you can put that down on the ground between you and the pigs just to give yourself some space. Okay. And then, or I'll take a steak or a stick and just kind of use that to keep them away, and just kind of bump them. Okay. Just to keep them away from me and getting too close and nipping at me and or getting in the slot bucket. So. That's a good tip. You think you're gonna try I'm gonna that? Try it. We'll see. Okay. They're always gonna show us. Oh, good. We'll see. <laughs> see if it works. There. Well, they, they're coming at me because they think. Yeah. See, they don't know me. They don't know me as bringing feed. So. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I'll just kind of. Yeah. Just keep them away. Hey, hey! Don't hey. let Laura oh. in there. Whoops. Is she gonna get out or you? She'll be annoying I mean, to the pigs. See, they, they're not, you don't have anything, so they're not coming at you, but I'll just kind of use that and just, just kind of bump them, keep them away. Got a drone in the air for the final shots. You can really see the difference when the drone's in the air of how the pigs and chickens have worked this there, even with the frost. That, well, look at her. I put her in a stall so that she wouldn't bother these pigs. She jumped out of the stall, Jonah. Jumped out of the stall? Yeah. That's like high. five feet tall. Okay, but she's not bothering the pigs, so we're good. And there they go. Oh, you better go. You go. I'm gonna get up the lanes. Laurel, no. Oh boy. Hey, wait, she, she might be trying to keep them here, Jonah. Jonah, she might be trying to keep them here. Look, she's keeping them here. Laura, it's hard to hurt a pig, honey. <laughs> oh, she did it. Hey. Hey, you're not doing it. Hey. I've got to train that dog. Personal trainer did not work out. They do not travel. Must find a good book. She could have been useful right there, keeping them this way. But she just doesn't know what to do. Okay, Mike's got one fence already. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one. So the pigs have run off. Jonah had a really good idea. I'm getting the drone out, but I mean, the drone's been on a time lapse, so why not find the pigs with the drone? There they are. They're over by the the feed area, the Let's minivan. Go. Let's get them. You want to grab this with us? Yeah, take that with us. Good, good call. My glass. Thank you. Oh, there's one. And we got to get the chicken feed too, Jonah. While we're at it, here they right. come, just in time. Right. Look at here. You think Mike's got something? Look, look. I got you something. Whoa. Now I got him following me. Now you have another problem. Oh. This one hasn't seen me. Hey, pig. Uh-oh, he's hung on, hung on the wire, Jonah. Come on. All right. There we go. It's not that bad. Uh-oh, let's get the chicken feet over here, Mike, real quick. Jonah, let the chickens out. All right, st spread it everywhere, Mike. To encourage tilling. Go ahead and drag that this way, Mike. Yeah, just bring the end here, Mike, and walk straight up. Jonah will stand here to keep it from bumping into the fence, okay, Jonah? Go straight up, Mike. So now go up this way above this garden. There you go. Yep, go on all the way out. Go out far enough so you'll know you'll have enough to then swing down to it, okay? We should have plenty, we have plenty of line. Oh, you know what we're gonna have to do? So we have this slack here 
and we need to make a connection for where Mike is down to the old one. Leave where the old one is, the old drain. You can bring the trough up though. Shut these off to keep water in. This is why we did these quick connects at every section. Gonna just do a quick connect right here. There we go. This is our water source. It comes right here. This is nice. Super straight line here. This is our water tour for the every two weeks. It's pretty easy. It's frozen in there or something. Pulling off. Come on. There it is. Let's connect it while we're here. I can turn those on. Let's take we'll take this back down to the the bottom. You got that in. Let's get through here so we're not through all of our kinds of things. And then and then drag that up here and connect it. And we're good. You know how to connect a quick connect? Yeah. Good. This is my watering chore. Once every two weeks. Yep. Gonna do this. And every day. <laughs> don't mess with it since. Open the bottom one, Mike. Yeah. Jonah, don't open the top one yet. Okay? Wait and I'll tell you when. We'll fill this up. Hopefully it ain't froze. In that short time sitting there. We're gonna fill that up. Okay, it's filled up. Let's call. All right, open it up. Open this one. Same time, Jonah, open that one. There you go. We'll get going full speed again. Now y'all, my watering chores are done for two weeks. Okay, Miss Thing, let's go. Come on. Come on. Bring her on. Okay. Come on, guys. Pay attention, Jonah. Come on, Miss Thing. Come on. A ritual backing in. Come on. Here, hold this for a second. Johnny, get in my staff. dinner, doesn't yeah. she, Mike? She makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two first right here. That's her fourth squat. She is filling up this bucket. Come on now. But that one is splattered and got on my lips. Let's see it got on the camera a little bit too there. All right, let's go, Mr. Brown. I need it, I Come need on. it, Neil. Hey. Hey, back. Hey, let me ask you a question. Morning. I thought I had another. I thought I had another vlog. Don't you? I posted mine. One past the egg. You have yeah. the gee vlog. I know. I don't know where it's at. Wasn't that one I deleted? Was it? It might have been. Okay. Um, 
Can you help me? Yeah. Can you tell me if there's poop on my face? Yeah. Some got on my lips. Oh. She pooped. No, I don't. I don't see any poop on your face here. I'll take. All right. Thanks. It's two gallons. Oh wow. I bet you it's two gallons. She was so full. You're gonna need another Half jar. Gallon. You think I'm gonna be all right? I think you'll be. Fine. Poop on my mouth. You wanna give me a kiss? Sure. All right. That's the oh, test. Sure. See if you're. I did wipe it down with my handkerchief, and I did find poop all over my handkerchief. Oh. <laughs> you wiped my sugar off. You wiped my sugar off, as my dad used to say. Look at that. Oh, wait, I got you another jar. I know, but. Oh, it wasn't quite? It wasn't. So it was a gallon and three quarters. Almost two gallons. A little over. Aha. Let's see. Let's see if Beauty will let me have two of those spaghetti squash. Sure, you can have Hey, Beauty. Yeah. Can I have two of those spaghetti squash? For what? Well, Mike and I were discussing a 410 versus a 22. And a 410 makes more of an explosion inside, and the 22 just puts one little hole, and that's why people prefer a 22. Mm. For head cheese, if you're going to do head cheese and stuff. Mm. Head cheese! The brain is more intact. I like head cheese! Okay, crazy eyes. Let's get her used to me. She's still not letting me. She still doesn't really let me pet her here. Okay, she lets me brush it. Get her used to me down there. Watch. She's kicking. I'm just touching it. There you go. Wow. Wow. Come on. Oh, you know what? Let's try. Let's try my grandpa's. What do you call it? Park chains? Figure out how to use these things. While well, she's doing that, let's go feed the new pigs. 15 pounds worth of feed. I bet they're gonna be good and hungry today. They're gonna have their full appetites back today. How y'all doing? Drink your water, knock down the perch. Where's your bucket of feed? Underneath the perch. Hey, hey. If these guys get out, it's different than the guinea hogs. I'm not familiar with them. I don't know. Okay. I think they know I'm food now. Hey, 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 hey. I basically just walk around in a circle. Had them follow me. See, I don't know how aggressive they're gonna be, or unaggressive. They love this wet food. I don't think they eat all that other food, maybe because it was dry. You guys are full on back. It encouraged me that they came and rushed the door. They're starting to act more like pigs. 
so they're de-stressing. I think we'll get them moved. When you guys want to move? Tomorrow, the next day, one of those. It's going to be interesting. They're certainly trained to the bucket now. Getting them from here, way over there. I'm thinking we'll use nets. They'll probably fall the buckets, but you just never know to shoot them over there. Hopefully everybody, hopefully everybody gets along. Okay, you've eaten? Okay, let's get you out. Are you gonna go out? Okay, because the cowboys taught me some tricks about getting you out. Hey Ben, how's it going? Come on, hey, let's check her. You guys know she's due like within weeks. You can see she's got mucus coming out of that. That. Ben, you know the drill. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's like, no, stay off. That's it. Have y'all eaten breakfast? Uh, yes. Okay. Hey, you look at him checking the minerals. I had him refill the minerals once. Now he's going to check every time he comes over here. <laughs> Actually. I just refilled it the other day. Is it already? Yeah, there's, there's one's missing. No, I. He knows how to do it. I brought a tool to permanently affix the labels. Yay! Look, let's show them the problem here. These get worn out, these labels that Sharpie is not working in. So we're going to burn them in. Maybe right there it is, but over here. Look. We're not, I don't even know what this red one has been. We're going to have to go look. We're going to have to go find the red one. Yeah, that one doesn't We have to find it in the bucket. This one that's not labeled right here is kelp. This thing is so handy. Once it gets hot, burn anything the soldering iron mm. I had to fix something in our car and I saw this oh yeah look Harbor Freight this is kelp yeah this is gonna be stinky here in a second yeah it might be better if I just use the burn tip okay. now you gonna have to let it cool down no I'll just screw that back in burn it in there you came on a good day, Ben. How's that? We're gonna shoot some stuff. All right. Like, bang, Compare bang, a 410 shoot. versus a 22. I'm down. That sounds like a good day. Yay, look at that. There's no wearing that off, huh? It'll last for a while. They are clearing brush to the, to the creek. We're gonna set up a perimeter fence as close as we can to the creek. Mr. Brown, while we're doing that, we're gonna work on this lane a bit. We're gonna sturdy up this lane. Look, we've got problems. I was thinking about putting a band-aid on it and just moving the lane over or something like that or going the lane a different area, but it's best to have your lane right through the middle of the field. You can easily graze both sides. The cows can easily shoot into the house. I'm gonna turn this problem to a solution. We have a lot of water coming off the mountain there and we have a culvert under the road just coming out in here. Well, plant is eating up grass, and what? I have when I have a new plant for some time, then plant grass where the grass grows. Just have them go through there. That's not a bad idea. It. I think that would work too, Lily. Is we'd give this a break and just move our lane over and just kind of switch it. But they'll also not be in here the entire time. We've got other fields we can go to, and this can recover. But we could subsoil in here so the 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 pasture absorbs moisture better. We could also yeoman plow, Mama, bring the uh, water from the... Papa, why do we just put this lane right here? Put that one right, right here. Why do we do that? Because we've already torn up this one spot. We want to keep tearing up this spot. We don't want to do a new spot yet. <laughs> so then we could do a yeoman plow, which is a way of going, I think, 2% off contour basically bringing the water 
um, from the valleys to the ridges. Water's not going up against gravity, it's actually going down, but the contour line would loop down here, say, and we'd be bringing water from that um, wet area into these more drier areas. Okay, Mr. Brown, let's straighten up this this fence. We got our dinky donk lane picked up. It's looking a lot better. We're not going to put in a T posts are a little more permanent, still semi permanent, but we're still going to do this dinky donk until we figure out and make an effort to deal with the core of the problem. Turn that problem into a solution. Too much water there can be a good thing if we can get it over here. Lily, can you carry one of these squashes? Yeah. Okay, we got our three squashes. So this is what we're gonna do, Ben. We're gonna shoot one with a 22. Then we're gonna use a 410 shotgun slug. That's probably more likely, most likely what we're gonna use. Okay, so it's a slug hollow point. I know that's what we're gonna use. We're not gonna use a buckshot, but buckshot will be fun. Buckshot, it spreads yeah. out. First, I guess let's do the least exciting. The semi-automatic 22. Go ahead, Ben. Get close, like you would a pig, you're gonna be three or four inches away, okay? Did you load this yet? Oh, this gosh. should be loaded, yeah. There you go. We're gonna get as close as possible. Boom! I think that would have rendered him, huh? As long as he wouldn't have moved. Uh, stop, Jonah. Oh, it went right through. Here, do it again so we can see. All right. I don't know how loud or how hard this kicks. It could be crazy. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, so <laughs> that's gonna put the pig out. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna explode. It's gonna explode the brains, big time. <laughs> okay. Where's the air crack? No, no. I didn't kick too bad. Where's the shell? No, look right. at the hole that it shot through. Jeez. Where's the hole? Look at the hole. Papa did it kick. That'll do, pig. Yeah. Do you think it'd be too hard for me? Yeah. See why they use that, was crazy. that was crazy. You cannot make a mistake with that. <laughs> All over the... You want to explode one, Mike? Sure. We're going to try another style. This is a buckshot. That was a slug. Uh, I got that was one shell. bullet. Can you put this on my head? These, these boys. Yes. Okay, so this has many beet pellets inside, inside of, it. of it, right? And it spreads out. The oh, yeah. further. Oh look, oh look, the blind The further it goes, the more it spreads out. Ready? Yep. Oh, here it goes. Oh, fire. Whoa. Boom. That's gonna put a sh There's a shell. Put it about. So to review. Papa, I want the let's shell. Let's hold this up. Hold that up. Uh, let's shell, review Papa. real quick. Move. Buck shot. 22. Move. The bug shot. <laughs> it's no, okay, the slug. so if our goal, Ben, we have basically yeah, a decision to make like this. Oh yeah, yeah, this kind of The advantage of the buck sh of the the slug is there's less room for error. Right. If you're slightly off, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna kill that, <laughs> knock that pig out. And that's gonna be the most humane way. He doesn't know it's coming. Maybe for a beginner, especially. I, I've never killed a big animal like this, and I don't want them to go through any stress. I don't even want them to know it's happening. And if, for that 22, if you just miss a little bit that they could be still be standing there and it will be stressful for them and you and they'll be squealing and yeah you could pull the trigger again but they've probably already moved yep so i'm kind of voting the 410 for a beginner like me you get used to it at least and then and then forget about the brains i mean right i'm not that anxious about eating the brains anyway are you <laughs> not really <laughs> okay i'd rather this be a humane kill than me salvage the brains <laughs> Which one are you gonna blow up, Ben? I think we'll blow up that one. You got the slug in there? Yeah. Do it from a distance, man. Show off. Show off a bit. Go as far away as confident as you are, buddy. Oh my gosh. It's spraying way out here. Oh, that's fine. 
<laughs> you feel more like a man now? Show that squash. Jeff to spaghetti squash. <laughs> Michelle in? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're loaded. Okay. Your safety is off, so if you squeeze the trigger, it's gonna fire. Right. So then you just sight down the barrel, and you're gonna line up that pin and that mm -hmm. one. You pretty much sight, and you can tell where it's at. Okay. You want your mouth? Oh yeah, definitely. Is this your first time shooting a gun? No, uh, first time shooting a shotgun. Okay, so you know about kickback. It kicks a little bit. Yeah. So just hold it real tight against your shoulder. Okay. Not loose. Okay. <laughs> you like that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fun to hold that much power, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> Rebecca, were you here for this? A little bit. So, what did you like better, the 22 or the 410? Um, were you here for that? Yeah, yeah, I was here. Um, well, I don't know, because I guess, um, well, I want the pig to be dispatched quickly, but if it could happen with the 22, that'd be better Yeah. than with the 410. I'm wondering, is this head gonna explode with the I know. I guess not. I've seen it done with a 410 myself. And it wasn't. It didn't mm -mm. explode. I know, so. It's just interesting how much variation there is between people. Some people say 410, some people say 22. Yeah. So I think maybe we'll at least try both. Okay. You think so? Yeah, it's fine. So what do you think? Which one, Ben, for the pigs? I don't know. Like, this will get the job, the 410 will get the job done, but the 22 I think will get the job done too. It's it's much less dramatic. Well, Is the pig's head gonna explode? I mean, it didn't. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen I, the. I mean, I ask him. I've seen them do it. It did not explode. Yeah, it's there's so. enough mass in there. It's probably not going to. I don't know. It's you have to be dead on with the 22. Yeah. 410. You're if you're using a slug, you have to be pretty close too. So yeah. I, I don't know. It's. Use what you're comfortable with. Yeah, it's what you're comfortable with. Alright, well I gotta keep thinking about it. Keep working on it. How many pigs are we doing? Five. Five pigs? Experiment. Yep. Do one with a 22 if that goes and horribly wrong. Mike's buddy does them with a 9mm. You got a 9mm? Yeah, we got a 9. P pistol, so we could try that too, because you can get roll even closer. Mm -hmm. I interrupt this program right here. We shot that on Sunday. The video before this one, we had talked briefly about 410 shotgun versus a 22, and somebody in the comments mentioned they use a 22 because you can get lead free ammo. Lead, yes, no duh, lead, lead. We don't want lead going into our food. If lead, if we're gonna shoot an animal with lead and it's gonna go into the brain, and if we're gonna actually cook that head, like in the instance of head cheese with pig, we don't want that in our food. So we need the least toxic bullet as possible. Do they make stainless steel bullets? <laughs> no, but they do make copper ones. They have lead free 22 bullets. They do not, that gentleman was right. He said, you gotta watch out, you gotta get lead free. And I don't think they make them in for shotguns. And I looked, I could not find ammo for a 410 shotgun lead free. I texted my buddy Ben from the Holler Homestead. I said, hey, what's going on? Can, can you find ammo for a 410 shotgun? He couldn't either and he started to look into it and this is what he thought the reason was as to why. Because shotguns are made with a fixed choke, lead will conform to the choke but copper wouldn't and could possibly blow up in the end of the barrel. No. We don't want that to happen. Uh, we want our food as, to be clean as possible. So at this juncture, we're going with a 22 like most people. I am changing it up a bit. The guy at the gun shop said, solid point. I guess that's gonna be a little bit more power. I guess it's gonna travel more through the brain. But then if you use, in, but if you use the hollow point bullet, so I'm talking about bullets here. If you use a hollow point, it more, once it goes in, it more begins to spread out, still in one piece, and slow down. So there's gonna be a little more damage in that instance. So that's gonna be a little more broader. So we are gonna, we at this juncture have ordered the ammo today, are going with a hollow point uh, 22 for the ammo for my 22 long rifle. So we'll see how that goes, we'll see how that goes in 
uh, March 1st. Okay, back to this show, back to the ending of the show with a special announcement. All right, Mike, thank you so much for your help today. I'll walk you to the car. You know, Mike is, is one of our Do-It-Yourself Abundance members, and so you get priority in visitations here and getting farm experience, and he's come and helped us out a lot, so now we've become friends. I want to ask you something, Mike, though. It's been somebody in the community. You've been in the member area for how long? Oh, probably about nine months. Okay, and so has there been an instance, I know the answer to this, but I'm just gonna ask it anyway. Has there been an instance where you've been able to um, get help? Yes. And can you um, name it for an example? When my chickens had a uh, bumblefoot, mm -hmm. you know, what to do with bumblefoot was soaking and lancing and things like that. That helped yeah. a lot. So. Okay, so you were able to get on there on the message board, on the yeah. private forum, Facebook? Yes. Okay, and get some help? Okay. That's right. And then I, uh, let's reverse it. Have you been able to help anybody on the member area? I hope so. <laughs> no. Come on, he's a humble guy. He's on there helping people all the time with guineas. Yep. He's talking about answering, he answers people's guineas questions. It's neat because I don't know everything. Yeah. And so I. I'm talking about this because our member area is about to open up in seven days. We're launching in seven days for New Year's registration. And it's more than me giving is what I've realized. Mm -hmm. There's so many people in the community that are helpful. I don't know everything, especially about guineas. And so when somebody has a guinea question, Mike's there to answer. And you're even like wanting to make a video and put it on there yep. for answering. So I think that's what a theme is going to be in 2019 is this is not just me teaching what I know, but it's right. tapping into the broader community because together, I don't want to say we know everything, <laughs> but we certainly know a lot more. Right. And together. Every, everyone's had their own experiences and what's worked and hasn't worked on their piece of property and your property, yeah. even though we're in the same state, your property yep. is very different than mine. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And so this year it's going in this together and being a, a community together at equal levels and showing respect for each other and learning from each other. That's right. Yeah, so thank you, Mike. Guys, op uh, keep your eyes open for that. February 4th, if you sign up for the waiting list, link in the description, G click on that link, go down to the bottom of the page and sign up for the waiting list. We're gonna let you in a little bit early. You don't mind them seeing this milk. Is that going to be an expectation now? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I guess if you come and you work really hard, you That's go right. away with the milk. <laughs> Is that the bonus? Okay, yes. all right. <laughs>